Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to Donington Park GP layout. Uh, today we're going to do eight laps around here in the newly released Super Taurus 4R Factor 2. Um, there's three cars available so far, the Renault, the Vauxhall and the Volvo. Uh, we're going to have a go at it in the Renault. So let's get this underway, see how we go. Starting 10th on the grid of 22 cars. Um, I've got the cars cranked up quite high, I'll have a chat about that in a minute just to make this uh, more difficult. <coughs> As that uh, Volvo moves to block there, and moves out of my... Oh! Everyone's breaking hard. Any damage? Just light. Okay, we're in seventh. Coming up to old hairpin. Right behind the brilliant S40 Volvo. Came second in the uh, championship in 1998. Right behind the uh, Nissan Primeras, or Nissan as the manufacturer, and the Primera GTs. Through coppice, drop it down a cog. See if we can squeeze past this Volvo. So I've got the car set to 112 skill and 66 aggression. Make some of the uh, corner. Exit's a little bit interesting. Been spun a couple of times in practice. But uh, I'm really liking the changes that I've made to the AI so far. They are uh, a little bit more natural in the way that they, they race. More like actual people. They'll have a crack at each other as you can see there. They're really having a go. Adjusted their braking, so a big thank you again to oh, Jean Simon for the uh, player.json file changes it's made the uh, the racing especially in these uh, and the Datsuns and the open wheelers um, a lot more realistic and a lot more fun okay still in seventh let's see if we can crack top five gonna come through Hollywood bit of a train going on right now through Craner Can we get one of them through Schwantz? I think we can. Up to six, seven, six. Take the apex. Oh, got it. Up to sixth. Oh, the tyres are squealing away. Down Starkey over the rise. Steering gets a little bit light there. Volvo went defensive then. We got him on the exit. Come on, can we get him into Melbourne? He's not going to move to block, hopefully. Oh, <laughs> those tyres. Okay, we got him, so we're in top five. Oh, rear wanted to slide then. So as you can see, it's a lot of fun, um, especially with the things I've got uh, I'm running at the moment. Um, but there are some things that need to um, be fixed, as far as I'm concerned. Um, the textures inside, as you can see, they're a little bit dated on the dash, um, so there could be some texture work. That goes for all of the cars. Um, I tried to have a crack at this in the um, the Vauxhall. However, the mirrors wouldn't load for me, so um, couldn't run it there because. As you can imagine, it's quite quite um, quite full on racing, door to door. You want to know where they are, at least when you've exited a corner. And I just couldn't see anything, so couldn't use the Vauxhall for this, which would have been nice, being as that they won at Donington in '98. Um, but yeah, so I think from what I've seen over running it just the last couple of hours, that the Vauxhall and the Renault run the same maybe physics or rather car configuration and setup. Um, the setups are exactly the same. I think there needs to be some work done on the Volvo brakes. I had a crack at them around here. You can't adjust the brakes 
and um, the Volvos just want to lock up. So you can fiddle around obviously with um, balance of the car and brake and force. You can set that as far forward as you want. Um, but yeah, I found the I found the Volvos quite difficult to drive purely from the braking point of view. But um, I think that um, it's a great starting point. I'd love to see the uh, Nissan Primera in here next. Would really make up the top three cars that run in the championship. Okay, so we've passed him. Late Apex, come on. Wheel's getting a bit of a workout at the moment. The fan's just cranked up. You can feel the torque steer constantly wants to pull you straight. Oh, mate's made a mistake. We're into third. Oh, a bit wide there by me. Down to Melbourne. Oh, he's having a crack, he's having a crack. He's got first. Let's see if we can take second as well. Oh, he's run wide. Oh, the door to door, come on. Feel the rear wanting to go on some of the harder braking. Just to make the car rotate on you, it's the only time it does want to rotate. What a door! Okay, we're through, that was a little bit messy. then okay we've got three laps ish left again this is one of my all-time favorite circuits especially in our factor 2 cinnamon's done an absolutely brilliant job I'll say it every time I race it if you haven't got this you need to go and get it <laughs> old mate behind me. The tires are getting an absolute beating. 1.2 seconds behind. Okay, so we're gaining a little bit now to coppice. Got a good run. Pulling away a little bit. Broke a little bit too early there. Let's see if we can make up a little bit of ground at Melbourne. Oh no way, he's pulling away. Come 
Okay, let's see if we can get him. Got to say, the actual sounds of the cars are brilliant. Um, you can really hear the, um, the turbo effect in the Vauxhall. Where is he? Where is he? I'm in first. Nope. Oh, he's right there. Make a mistake. I don't want to make one. The Vauxhall behind gaining as well. Last lap. Come on, come on. I can do this through Hollywood for the last time. And Craner, flat out. Come on. Old hairpin, this will set us up. <clears throat> Past Darkies Bridge, through Schwantz, up to McLean's. Get the late apex here and get him. Come on, come on, come on, through Coppice. Door to door, get the power down. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, let's see if he leaves me alone through Fogarty. Nope. And again through Melbourne. And then Goddard's for the last time and across the line, hopefully. In first, come on. Whew. That was awesome. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, um, please leave a like, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I will be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.